to do. If you get all the 100% this game, no, you'll be spending hours. Unless you actually know what you're doing or are following a guide and all that. Even if you, even if you are following a guide, it still takes time. But, we have another task at hand. So, let's go visit her sister over here somewhere. Oh, could it be by that boulder? I wonder. Let's read what this sign says. Dead end. Oh, but I see an explodable boulder, so it must not be a dead end. Now, why do I put a sign there that says dead end anyways? Who cares if it's a dead end? Obviously, they can see it's a dead end. Like, whatever. So we're climbing in. Time for this great fairy fountain. See what she's gonna give us. This other creepy fairy. That looks almost identical. Oh my god. <clears throat> look at that. Don't, don't, what are you doing? Like, look at how chunky. Look at how pointy those are. <laughs> wow. Anyways. She's gonna give us a magic spell. Please take it. I'll take if you give. Let's go. Give it. Whoa! Din's fire. Oh, man. Looks like we had attack magic we can use. Let's see now. Not only to attack, but also to burn things. Oh, my God. So, let's move on. <clears throat> oh, look, now this. Oh, I thought the gate was open. Anyways, I gotta go back um, to get the third spiritual stone. Climbing a ladder. Where could that spiritual stone be? Where could it be? Back to town. Oh, well, we're here. Let's uh, pay this guy back. Oh, boy. That mask is gross. scare many people with this mask. Alright. We got the other mask, so let's go check things around. <laughs> check things around. I'm not even kidding about that. <clears throat> let's go check. Let's go look around. Check things out. Combine those, you get check things around. Okay. Now... I, I'm gonna go and trade in this mask. Because I know where we can give it to. I know who we can give it to. If I didn't know who to give it to, you're like, how? Ugh, I'm tired. Anyways, if you didn't know who to give it to, how would you ever find it? Like, I don't know how I found this, so probably from a... Nintendo Power. <laughs> but seriously though, if you're just playing this, how would you know? You'd have to talk to everyone wearing this mask. Just keep it on and talk to everyone you meet. Like, who would want a spooky mask? You don't know, just talk to everyone. Everyone wants a spooky mask, maybe. No, that guy could want it. Well, whatever. We just need to equip it. Like, it looks freaking scary. Ha! Oh, the graveyard. Look at that kid. That's who he wants the mask, because he wants to be just like 
the gravekeeper dampy. In their eternal slumber. Oh, it's Dampy the gravekeeper. What? No. It's just a mask. What are you talking about, kid? Look at that kid's haircut, by the way. Like, look at it. What? Like, no. Like, you're, you're a kid. Why are you bald? You have a little tuft in the front. Like, tuft in the front. He didn't mind paying at all. Now I can get the new mask model. That kid walks around with his new spooky mask to be just like Dampy. Who doesn't want to be like Dampy? You know, I just want to say something. This, like, the musical score for this game, it's really good. <laughs> All the songs and stuff, like, Koji Kondo is the composer for this game. He's a genius. He is definitely a genius. He wrote pretty much every memorable Nintendo song, like Mario, Zelda, Metroid, I think. Like, it's really... He, that guy's a genius. <clears throat> so, let's go get the na next mask model, but I don't think we're going to be able to do it in time. We're not going to make it. Uh-oh. Come on. No, come on. Come on. Come on. No! I didn't make it. I didn't make it. Come on. I didn't make it. Actually, I know what we can do. Because we have to wait for this for it to become daytime anyways. So we're going to take another backtrack to Kakariko Village to learn a nice ocarina song. Also, one of which I have no idea how you would get. Like, its significance in the game is not massive. It's its really a su You don't need it to complete the game at all. Like, not even close. But, might as well get it. We're in the neighborhood. So... Um, we're moving on. <clears throat> As that gross ass guy again. I hate that guy so much. Back to the graveyard, anyways. So, we're going to the graveyard. And now, it's not the kid, it's actual Dampy walking around here. You can have his heart-throbbing grave-digging adventure, or whatever. And over here, well look at this. The royal family? What do you do when there's a royal family crest? You whip out the Zelda's lullaby, and hope for the best. Oh, it doesn't appear to have done anything. Oh, what, what's the deal? I don't know why the event didn't trigger. It's a little glitch on here. <laughs> Anyways, oh, here we go. Now the event triggered. And it, what an event it is. Oh my god, it's lightning. It's raining really hard. Oh boy. It's getting scary. Holy crap. Boom. Exploded the massive, massive tombstone. And we are left with a hole, which we can enter. Wow, okay. Here we go. Down, down, down. Into the royal family tomb. Is that even one right there? It's not even one. There's one on this wall, I think, somewhere. 